Take up your cross. This is personal, and it's your cross. Now listen, that audience, when they heard that, they knew the cross was this instrument of unspeakable suffering and death. And so again, this is a hard teaching. Jesus has the crowds gathering around him. There's a little bit of, wow, buzz going on around Jesus. And he drops these words into that audience. Take up your cross and follow me. Jesus' audience that day, when they heard that, they knew. Because they see it over and over and over again. What the Romans would do to their enemies unspeakable suffering and death. And so the cross was this picture of suffering and pain and death. And when they heard that, their thought was sacrifice. We talked a a moment ago, Mark was talking about your giving, your sacrificial giving uh, fuels the missions of this church all over the world. And we're talking about sacrifice talking about laying our life down, taking up our cross. And it could be a sacrifice financially to this local congregation to invest the seeds of the gospel, the the word of God going across the nations. It could be um, your your, uh, own life, though. Maybe God's stirring you to hop into one of these trips that this this church is going to take in the years, in the days to come. Or maybe it's Man, I've been praying about something else, and maybe it's me going. Maybe it's our family going. Listen, we were, I was late 40s when we made the decision to move to England. It's not your typical missionary path. You know what I'm saying? Come out of college, you, 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 you know, maybe you, you join a, a ministry and an organization, and you kind of ramp up to this, right? But we were like, I had... Two kids in college, one about to go to college, the caboose who didn't have a choice. And, and you know, we're, we're leaving this nation and going to another nation. So some of you in your mid-40s or early 50s, and you're like, man, I don't know. Is this, this guy's crazy. He's telling me I need to leave my treasure and my pleasure and go to another part of the world. That's what we're talking about today. It's personal. It's your invitation. Take up your cross and live a life of sacrifice. It's dying to yourself to live for the kingdom. Dying to yourself to live for the gospel. And dying to ourselves can feel like a bad thing. Most people want to exalt, applaud, and promote themselves and climb the corporate ladder and achieve personal greatness. But in God's upside-down economy, in God's kingdom economy, dying to ourselves is essential. It's the essence of following Christ. Galatians 2.20 says, I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life that I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself up for me. Philippians 2, chapter 5. I mean, uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Man, you should meditate on Chapter 2, you know, while you're watching whatever you're going to watch this afternoon. Or right before you come pack food bags, okay? Read uh, uh, Philippians chapter 2. Listen to verse 5. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but he emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of man and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Dying to live. A lump of clay cannot become a work of art unless it's shaped into something else. A container of paint cannot be used for a masterpiece unless it's poured out. A carbon deposit must change in order to become a diamond. And all of us watch the biology, the metamorphosis of a caterpillar to a butterfly. That caterpillar literally processes through and and dies and becomes this magnificent butterfly. The invitation today is to die. And it's actually an invitation, I believe, to real 
life. That's what we're asking for you today. Take up is an invitation to willingly lay down your life today and every day. And so watch this. If you and I can process this thought that I am willing to die, my yes is on the table. Like if we can get to the place where I'm going to process this so much so today that my yes is on the table, God, my life is interruptible. If you can get to the place where you are ready to die for what you believe in. Listen, in America in 2024, I'm not, I don't feel threatened by what I believe, but there's some scenes going on across Europe right now that are pretty weird. Like people are dying for what they believe in. People all across the world, the persecuted church, there are more Christians persecuted now than ever before, dying for what they believe in. So if you can wrap your head around dying for what you believe in, come to grips with that today, you're prepared to say, Lord, no matter what, I'm ready to suffer and die for you. If you can get to that place, watch this. If you can get to that place, doesn't it make sense then that you're ready and willing to live for him? Right? I mean, if you and I can get to the place where I'm ready to die for what I believe in, then doesn't it make living for him moment by moment that much more real? It's not easy, but it's real. Like today, God, I'm going to live for you. 